Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another video. As you can tell by the title, we will be installing a wing on Delilah today. This is the LCW or the DTM style wing. I'm not too sure which one it is exactly. I ordered it a couple months ago. It finally came in. I've just been waiting to install it because just reasons I've been waiting to install it. So we do finally have it. My last car is Charlotte. If you guys remember the silver car, silver E46 sedan. It did have like a little lip spoiler, nothing too crazy. Um, but this wing is supposed to be much bigger, which I'm hoping um well obviously it is much bigger but i've been wanting to go for a much bigger wing um i've never done anything like this before so i'm excited i've been waiting for i guess you can see the parts of the tools to do this so we can go ahead and buy a drill set and all that stuff to go ahead and install this and first time doing anything like this we've never uh, well i drilled into the front of the car obviously because i do have hood pins and all that stuff and we did on justin's car but never installed one on the car i've seen videos it shouldn't be too hard but i definitely am excited to go ahead and be installing this part this is one part I've been waiting for to go ahead and throw in the car to give it a drastic overhaul of look, if you will, just to make it look that much better overall and just get this build going. I do have other plans for other parts in the future, so stick around for those if you want. And yeah, let's get into this. And just so you guys know, I've only actually seen the wing on, call it a wing, spoiler, you guys don't want to call it. I've only seen it on pictures, pretty much on cars. I've never seen it in person on a car. My first time opening the box with you guys and just seeing what comes with it and everything that the wing is. I haven't opened it, so it looks open. It is because Customs has opened it for me, so they've seen it before I have, but I'm excited to go ahead and open it with you guys, so let's get into that. already comes assembled. I did not expect that at all. I thought it would come in three pieces. I believe it's a three piece wing. Uh, I don't take the ad, but hey, it's assembled. It's not that much easier. I'm going to figure out how to install this. I'll be right back with you guys. All right, guys, I just went to go look at my order from the company. So I actually ordered from a company called, well, it's from the site, Car ID, and the company is Duraflex. So this is a Duraflex two piece. I was saying, guys, this is a Duraflex two piece fiberglass wing itself so it comes as you've already seen pre-assembled and yeah here it is and on the bottom of course you do have one two three four bolts so I'm gonna go ahead and do I'm gonna go ahead and put tape on the trunk itself and line this up and see how it looks on the car and then go from there okay so obviously it isn't perfect because the wing has the screws still on it, holding it in place. The screws are still there attached. So obviously, it isn't perfectly lined up like that. But, oh, damn bike. This looks pretty good. I actually kind of like it. Let's see how it goes from there. But let's go ahead and remove off the bottom piece and then see where we need to drill and all that fun stuff. Separated, put in place on the car now. All right, so I've gone ahead and put the base. All right, so I've gone ahead and put the bottom piece on. I have taped it, so when I do drill, it's not going to be a horrible mess. But the good thing about it that makes it easier is on the bottom of it, there is this like, there's this lip here. So you put it on the car. It, it just pretty much goes with the, like, can't go further than that, so that's a good thing. 
One thing you have to, again, just figure out where center point is, go from there, and then, the nice thing about this is, I'm probably gonna end up putting on like this, taping it down a bit, taping it down, and then I'll drill holes from the top downward. I'll probably just end up doing that, so I'll put, also, when I put the holes like that, I don't know if there's tape there, I'll just mark it with the Sharpie through it, drill the holes downward, and I'll end up with hand three, having it after when I make sure secure, it stays on securely, and then go from there. So, tips and tricks, if you will. Uno, dos, tres. All right, so the Sharpie only works for the front hole, as you can see here. But what I did go ahead is I just took a sharper object and just pretty much stabbed right there. I know where to drill. Let's focus, so there you go. On both sides, same thing, the hole's right there. Boom, sharper right there. So let's go ahead and drill into the trunk now. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and drill now. Um, I've never done anything like this before, so don't mind how bad it may come out. Um, yeah, it's kind of nervous, but let's do this. Alright guys, so here's an update on where we are at. I do have the front of the spoiler, pretty much of clear. Part of it that goes towards the car, the screw can fit, fit through. Because it is so close to the edge of the trunk itself, I'm able to use the washer, but whatever, I'll use 3M. So this one is able to go through. This is the bigger washer, but it's for the back end here. I ended up drilling, as you can see up here. So this one can go through, but again, it goes at an angle, so it won't be flush won't be flush so I do have to go ahead and figure out a way to figure fit this in here so it goes like that but it won't go all the way through so I'm thinking I may just end up get this out. I may end up just taking my Dremel kit and just cutting here out so it just can fit in easier I can tighten it down with no issues or I may just end up, I may just end up banging it in I'm not too sure yet I may just continue drilling that not too sure yet but when I figure that I'll let you guys know but I'm probably just gonna end up cutting a square out of here so it's easier just to get access into it and yeah, I hate the fact that it's so close to the edge of the um, trunk itself, but it is, it is what it is. All right, guys, after everything that I've done, let me zoom out a bit, calibrate. I ended up cutting that. Like, it looks horribly ugly, but honestly, it works. The bolt goes in perfectly. Bolt can go in perfectly fine. Even room to tighten it and all that fun stuff. Yeah, make us brighter now. Yeah, like it's it's in and it works. I'm happy. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same to the next side. Wish me luck, and then we're going to mount this wing. Hopefully. All right, guys. Yeah, as I said, whew, I'm exhausted. That hurt my back. But final product. This is it. Don't judge me. Cut a hole, cut slits around the hole so it can fit in perfectly and tighten it. This hole here works. I just ended up test fitting this, the bottom piece with the top piece on it. And it fit, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side now. So I'll see you guys in 10 seconds, but it's probably gonna make another hour, cause Jesus Christ. But I'm gonna finish that side and then be able to mount it all together and then, yeah. I'm not gonna go ahead and 3M it down because I just wanna make sure that it stays on. Um, I do have to do a bit of, like it's, it's it, you'll see what I mean. I go ahead and bolt it down, but I don't think I'm gonna three on it today. I may, I may end up pulling it off again and just making it better, but I just wanna see, go ahead and put it on and see how it looks and all that stuff. So give me a minute here. See you guys in a bit. All right guys, it's probably the 10th time you heard it, but this is the final look before we go ahead and throw the spoiler. Let's say bumper, oh my goodness, spoiler on. It is not the cleanest, but it has enough space. I'm just gonna get a screw for you guys. On all four holes, there's enough. Wow, that is bright. On all four holes, stupid camera. I need a new camera, guys. Someone give me a camera, sponsor me, all that fun stuff. But yeah, so it does have enough space. All four holes for the 
for the screws and all that stuff to go in perfectly and they do end up flush and I won't be 3 ming it because I do want to go ahead and put washers behind it to add some extra structural rigidity and I do plan on again like I'm painting all this so it doesn't end up rusting I the bump this is already rusted anyways like it's, it's rusted so I'm not too worried about it rusting anymore but it's not going to be on here for too much longer hopefully hopefully you get either a new one or maybe a carbon fiber one you know spoiler alert maybe we'll see how funds are in the future but all four holes are pretty much cleaned up and everything everything is else is pretty ugly but it's the underside of it you won't really see it and it just works so I'm gonna get my sister Kiara everyone gets you a Kiara because she's very helpful I'm gonna get my sister and we're gonna go ahead and throw this spoiler on Guys, it's on. Like, guys, like the wing is on. Like, you guys see this? Like, you guys see this with me? Like, it's on. Don't mind the mess, as always. But welcome to Chevy Shop. But guys, it's on. Like, this is okay. I'm gonna go ahead and there's nothing. Let's clean that out after. But let me, let me go ahead and close this for you guys. Like, whew. damn. Okay, now I'm okay. I, I am, a, I am in love. Okay. Yeah, this okay. I can use the fans like actually do works with this and make it better and sand the areas where it needs to be fixed because like there are some areas where it is trash. Like that is trash. So I'm gonna have to sand it down like that. Or I'm gonna have to end up pushing it. I don't know, I'm gonna figure that out, but like that fitment is horrible. Like that's what happens you go DTM fiberglass from Car ID. Like it looks I can fix that. I can just sand out here, add some more to here, so I can fix that sand. But like for, for what it is now, like I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Oof. Let me pull on the sun so you guys see it better because it's dark in here. Still sounds horrible guys, we're gonna fix her, but oh yeah! I didn't tell you guys, but I went to an exhaust shop. I got no exhaust for the thing. Like I had the muffler from E46 parts car. I ended up having, yeah, having that. The car is too low, man. But I ended up having that welded on. And so it sounds way better than the straight pipe that it came with. But that wing, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Again, so I'm gonna go to my boys at Body Shop. I don't know if I can do it. I'm gonna have them just add some more to make this more flush, and then I'm gonna go ahead and either remove this off or just have them add here to make it um, better. Put it on both sides. This side doesn't need as much loving as this side does, but honestly, for that, I'm just, I'm just happy. Like the car is, the car is leaning only because it looks like it's leaning because my hand is not steady and the driveway is slanted, but. It looks so sick. I'm happy. I'm in love with it. Like, ooh, I got all the hot boy points. That's what I wanted. But some more stuff coming for this car, definitely, guys. If you enjoyed it, definitely leave a like, subscribe if you're new, comment. I see you guys in the next one, man. Peace.